There's another time saving one, and that's going to be found in any subtool applies last action to all subtools. Uh, it's this little grayed out button right here. The reason it's grayed out is because I haven't done anything in order to apply to my other subtools. Um, there is one thing of note here is that to use this button, it has to be an undoable action that you can do in this tool menu. So for example, uh, this is probably the easiest one to explain. So if I alt tap uh, this subtool right here and I want to fill it with a color. If you go into, let's just close all these out, let's go into here to color, uh, and I want to fill this with red, so I'm going to choose a red color here, and let's, uh, we have our standard brush selected, I'm going to choose, you know, let's do MRGB, so material and color, so we're going to fill it with a skin shader for material, a red color, we're going to say fill object, and now I want to fill all my other objects with red, uh, well, you can see right here, this is still grayed out, because color is in the color menu, it's not in the tool menu, and it's not uh, undoable, it's not an undoable action in the tool menu, basically. Luckily, what they've done, so if we undo this, color fill, if we go down here to poly paint, there is a new fill color option in here. So instead of going to the color menu, you can actually go to, again, tool, fill color. So again, choose whatever color you want. We'll choose a red. We got MRGB selected, I'm gonna say fill color. And now if I scroll up, you're gonna see, oh, apply last action to all subtools is available. Go ahead and hit that button. It'll ask you, hey, do you wanna repeat the same action? Say okay. And now it'll go through and fill all of your subtools here with a red color. The ones that are white, you can just click on them and it'll update the thumbnail. That's really all it's doing. But they are all absolutely filled with red. Now, granted, if you're uh, old ZBrush user like me, you can go in here to, Z, in this particular instance, you can go in here to Z Plugin Subtool Master, do a fill in here, and you can fill with color and material on any visible subtools. But, like I said, this uh, will apply whatever you've done to all your other subtools, uh, again, that are visible here. So let's talk a little bit more about that. For example, I've got, you know, just alt tap this body again, and let's say I want to go in here to layers and say create a new layer that's set to record, well, I can apply that last action to all subtools. So I can hit this button, say OK, and now every single one of my other subtools here has a recordable layer. Now let's go Alt-Tap on here and see what's up. Not sure why those turned black, but you can see I turned off the uh, record on that layer and I can apply that last action to all my other subtools as well. So now when I Alt-Tap on all of these subtools, the record is turned off. So I just applied a layer to all of my subtools and then turned off recording. Let's go ahead and choose a white color. And let's say, you know what? Uh, some of these subtools in here I want to fill with a uh, white skin shader for. What I can do is, number one, I can isolate them. So I can alt tap the ribs, for example, and hold down shift and turn off the eyeball. And then, well, first I can isolate them. Uh, and if you remember, you have these V1, V2, V3, V4, and V5 up here. These are subtool visibility sets. So what we can do is, uh, for example, in visibility set one, everything is on. I'm going to go over here to V2. I'm going to turn everything else on and then I'm going to go through here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to hold down shift, turn off everything with the, by touching the eyeball and then I'm going to turn on the eyeball for some of these bones in here. So now that I've turned on these bones, you can see V1 has these visible, V2 has these visible. So now with just this visibility set, I can now go in here again down here to poly paint. We can say fill color go back up here and of course you can just set a hotkey to this if you'd like and then hit this apply last action all subtools say okay and that'll fill all the visible subtools with white and then we can go back to v1 and turn everything else back on now there's a new folder option as well uh, and if you're new to zbrush and you don't know about folders uh, you can just hit w well there's multiple ways to create folders one easy way to create folders for multiple subtools is to hit w on your keyboard go in here to this move multiple uh, checkbox and turn that on Hold down control shift to go into visibility. Let's do select rectangle. I'm gonna control shift drag over all of these head pieces here and you're gonna see I have some hashed areas. Those are unselected. So you can go through here and you can hold down control shift and tap and that'll deselect objects. And then you can control shift tap to select objects. So now that we've got a number of unhashed objects, the neck and the brain and the head over here, what I can do is I can Go over here and click that new folder button or hit control F and with all these unhashed objects, when I say new folder, it'll ask you, hey, do you want to create a folder containing these objects? Say, sure, we'll call this stuff. And now at the very bottom, I have a folder with those three objects. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off move multiple. And now let's hit Q to go back into draw mode. Let's choose a pink color here with this head selected 
inside of my stuff folder, I can again go down here to uh, poly paint, fill color, and then instead of doing a visibility fill or applying last action, uh, in that way I can go in here to this gear icon and say apply last action to my folder context, contents. So go ahead and say okay. There you go. And now all of my folder objects, and again we'll update these thumbnails, uh, have been filled with that color. Now if you didn't like that, you can hit Control Z and it'll undo the, the apply last. So if I hit Control Z again, it'll go through and undo all of my apply last. So what I'm trying to say is you don't have to hit undo, you know, 25 times in order to undo everything it's done to your subtools. It'll remember what it's done and mass undo all of your apply last action to all subtools. And that's basically it. So put that one in your back pocket. Uh, it'll come in handy for Redshift too. Uh, this is a Redshift properties underneath your uh, subtool menu and you can see it's on by default however this is a pretty high poly object so if I was to go and turn on my redshift render I could actually go through here and I don't really need this on so what I can do is say turn this off apply last action all subtools say okay and now if I select any other subtool that property is turned off uh, in fact I've got a bunch of I got layers on all my subtools now let's go in here and say delete that layer apply last action all subtools say okay and now all of my subtools should have that layer deleted. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's as I'm as I'm, I'm using my arrow key to go through, and it's updating now. And you can see all of my subtools now have layers deleted. So, again, super time saver. Assign that to a hotkey if you want, or put it in your interface in your custom interface if you want to, and use that to get stuff done quicker.